Welcome to the Massachusetts Legislature public site. It was built through a partnership between Talon and the Legislative Information Services Group. On the right, you'll notice that there are important events. Right now we have four hearings for joint committees. On the left side, there are recent laws that have been passed. You see that there's a list of six here. On the bottom of the page, there's a site map that pops out when you click on it. This allows users to see all the links within the website and for frequent visitors of the website they can quickly jump to a specific part of the site that they visit often. In the center of the website there's a slideshow. The slideshow highlights key areas that are popular within the public site. The website puts heavy emphasis on the ability for users to find information quickly on the home page you can see that we have three search boxes. On the left you can search for keywords within bills and laws. At the top right this is a site search that searches for keywords on any page within the website. And finally in the center there's a toolbox to help you find your legislator. You can search by first name, last name, district, or town. In the Find the Legislator toolbox, you can see that you can actually browse for your legislators by city or town or by name. In this case, we're going to search by the town of Plymouth. Here are all the legislators that represent the town of Plymouth. We scroll down, we will find the Senate President, Therese Mary. Here is the biography page of Therese Mary. You can see that we list her state house address and phone number as well as her district office address and her email address. Below that we have tabs containing other biographical information. This first tab we see her bills and laws. The second tab we show some key biographical information about her. The third tab is the photo album. In this, there are photos of the legislator interacting with the constituents of the Commonwealth. Here, if we click on one of the photos, it will bring it up in a slideshow. And you can either go through slide by slide, or you can hit play and let the slideshow play itself. The fourth tab is district information. Here you can see Therese Mary's district within all of the Commonwealth. If you zoom in, as you zoom in farther, you can see that her district is outlined in a dark gray against the other districts in the Commonwealth. And when you zoom in far enough, the other districts are grayed out. And now you can see this legislator's district as you normally would in Google Maps. Going back to the first tab, Bills and Laws, here are all the bills that Therese Mary has sponsored. Let's take a look at Bill Senate 1884. There are three tabs here first tab is the bill text, second tab is the history of all the changes to the bill, and the last tab has miscellaneous information. In this case you can see the petitioners, the city and town that the bill has to do with, um, town approved, and also the category. We'll come back to this bill later on and look at more detail in it. Now we will look at bill and law search capabilities. In the search box here, I have the term construction. If I hit search, I get all results back that have to do with construction in either laws or bills. Now there are 1,982 laws and bills that have to do with construction, which is far too many to try to page through. So we'll use a capability of the site to drill down into a search. So on the left, you can see that you are able to drill down by general laws, session laws, and bills. In this case, we want to see all bills that have to do with construction. 
the search results come down to 418, which is more manageable, but still too many to page through. Next, we're going to continue to drill down by hitting the filter button. Now we're able to drill down farther into the bills. In this case, we know we want a Senate bill. We're down to 173 results. It's almost a manageable result set. Finally, we know the sponsor of the bill that we're looking for. So we click on Show More Refinements under Sponsors, and we find Therese Mary. In this case, Therese Mary has been the sponsor of four bills having to do with construction, and you can see the bill that we saw earlier, Senate 1884. As we saw before, the first tab of the bill is the bill text. You have the ability to download into a PDF. You can also view it in full screen mode and print in a printer friendly format. Now looking at the general laws, if we go to the general laws section, And if we know the chapter and section of our law, in this case it's chapter 149, section 29E, we see the specific general law that we are looking for. In this case, if we were close to the general law that we wanted, but we knew it was a different section, you can very easily move up to the next section or if you were close in the chapter but you weren't on the right one you can move down chapters and finally you're also able to move to the next title or the previous title and we also have the printer-friendly capabilities on the general laws as well. Next, we'll look at the redistricting section of the website. On the left navigation, we select Find a District. In this case, we'll look for a district having to do with the town of Plymouth. We see the Senate district that we want, which is the Plymouth and Barnstable. You can see this distri district against all the districts in the Commonwealth. There's also a census data tab. This shows the population changes between the year 2000 and 2010. There are also a number of maps in this section of the site. Here are the new district maps drawn after the 2010 census. There are also historical district maps. There's 2004, 2001, 1993, 1973, and even back to 1863 and 1857. Finally, we'll give a quick preview into a part of the site that's not live yet. This is going to be the virtual tour of the Massachusetts Legislature website. It'll allow users from the comfort of their home to view rooms and artifacts within the State House. Here you see a map of the State House, and on the right, the individual floors. In this case, we're going to go to Memorial Hall. And see a panoramic photo. 
as you move around there are certain artifacts that are highlighted and you can click on an artifact you get more information about it as we said this is not live yet but look in the coming weeks and you will see this thank you for taking the time to view this demo of the massachusetts legislature public site we hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions please send an email to govsys at talon.com